Hey friends, it's me, Rhea Peterson. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be keeping things simple and I am working on the cabinet under my sink. I have done a number of organizing projects in my house and they've always been kind of big. And so this one I just really wanted to keep budget friendly, simple and quick. So that is the focus. If you are new here, my name is Rhea Peterson. I upload usually around two times a week, typically on Saturdays and Tuesdays. And I cover things like cleaning motivation, organization, food and mom life. And I am so glad that you are here, but I'm not gonna waste any time. Cause like I said, this is gonna be quick. I hope you all stick around. Let's get started. Okay, well one of the first things I'm gonna wanna do in here is to just clear everything out. I have pared down a lot of my cleaning products over the years, but I also often will get multiples of things so I don't run out. So I know I have a lot that I need to work with, but also I don't even really remember what all is in here anymore. So I'm gonna get it all cleared out, get the cabinet wiped down. I have made a few purchases for things that I knew that I would need to organize, but other than that, I am just gonna shop my house and just get rid of items that I don't need. So I'm keeping this simple. I wanted to just spend pennies on this, but also make it really functional and something that like I'm proud of and that I like. So I'm gonna get it all cleared out, vacuum it, wipe it down, that kind of stuff. And then we will get a feel for what's gonna work in here, what I might need, that kind of thing. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection. Lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers Okay, so it's a lot of dish soap. We primarily only use this Grove unscented one. Um, and like I said, I do buy things in bulk just so I don't really have to think about it for the year. So that is why there's three of those. And then I do use Dawn dish soap for different things as well. And this one was low, so I had picked up another one while they were on sale. And then I do like to keep mostly just like the holiday scents of the Myers around. I use these for different things like when I clean my vacuum filters and stuff because it cleans them but it also makes them smell good for a little while I'm using them. The hand soaps as well. Uh, I mostly just get the holiday scents. That's usually when I'm most excited about, about the Myers hand soap. So like I have a bunch of them but we're making our way through a lot of them. So it is what it is at this point. I also just, I couldn't see them where they were. So now I know I don't need to keep buying dish soap. <laughs> uh, and then just some cleaning products. For the sprays, I typically just use Thieves. Um, so all of these are just like their, again, special scent. And the majority of these are like empty, but I didn't want to use the last little bit because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it for a year. So like almost all of these two, empty. So. Other than that, it's just my everyday stuff that I've got left over here, scrubbers and things. So it should be hopefully easy to organize, but I'm gonna get this cleaned out and I'm just gonna use up the rest of those uh, Myers sprays to wipe these out so that I can really make it count. Thankfully, they're, they're not really clashing smells. <laughs> What's 
What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you Deep connection, lights a spark You already know me when we dance in the dark We're dreamers As you can see, the paint job on these cabinets leaves a lot to be desired. I am going to address that, but one thing I also want to make sure I do is put some cabinet liners in here to help mitigate some of the soap spillage that you saw that I dealt with. I get my cabinet liners at Ikea. They're really cheap there, and so whenever I am there, I will grab a couple rolls. I love this stuff. It does a really good job, and I mean, it's really an affordable option. I can see you want me by the look in your eyes Tell me that you want me I can see you want me by the look in your eyes We come alive mm -mm, We come alive We come alive in the night time something about how it is In the moonlight that look in your eyes Okay, so everything's cleaned out I did make just a few purchases for this project. One in particular was this XOXO pop container for the dishwasher pellets. We tried the liquid, just I don't like it, I prefer the pods, and so I wanted something just a little bit nicer than just using the container that they come in, honestly. So it's just a pop one and I had a credit on Amazon and I used it to get this. Um, and then these are just some stockable containers. I was thinking for like sponges and things like that to keep in here. I liked how they're stackable. These are the Bright Room containers from Target. They're usually really affordable, so I just grabbed two of those. And then the only other things that I got which I knew I was going to need because it's the corner space was turntables. The turntable is really handy. I got these at my grocery store. They were having a sale, but these are just the iDesign ones. You can get these on Amazon. You can find these through, I think the container store has them, but I grabbed these at my local Kroger. Was very stoked to find a good deal on them. So I just grabbed a couple of them and the idea is for like the dish detergent and the hand soaps just to make them more easily accessible and hopefully a little bit more space efficient. You can't just fit a bunch of cubes in there because of the angle of it. And I have the garbage disposal in there, which you know, most sinks have regardless of whether they're not in a corner. So I just thought if I'm gonna be able to get stuff quickly, the turntables would do the trick. So. Those are the things that I purchased new and then other things are just from my house. Like I'm still gonna utilize this riser in there most likely because it adds a little bit more vertical space. Um, and then I just have random storage containers left over from other projects that I have available to me if I need them. My goal is to pare things down a little bit, consolidate some containers and just make it less chaotic under there. So I think what I'm gonna start first with is just kind of placing containers, see what will fit where, um, and then we can just start filling things. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning. Well, because of the hoses and garbage disposal, there's not a ton of options with getting things all placed. I'm gonna try a few and see what my options are, but honestly, <laughs> There was really only like one way to put these in here. And sky's the limit. I used to be satisfied. Stayed over the surface. Now I just can't get enough. You make me feel good. Part of the problem, these hinges stick out so far. Because they're soft closed cabinets. And so they're just longer than the actual cabinet.
I might have to swap these out someday. Not today though. I think this one makes the most sense. I want to steer clear of a lot of like the hoses and cords and everything. Um, and like, I don't need everything on the planet in this cabinet. So I think I want it bare minimum with some storage space for back stock, but for the most part, I need less in here because I need less. I don't need all the soaps, right? Right. It's a lot of hand soap, I get it. Ah, oh, betrayal. Knowing there is more in life that I want. Now I want to embrace life. You and I side by side. When there is more in life that I want You can't see it very well, but I did take a mason jar to put like my long handled scrubber brushes in and the bottle scrubbers and it's on one of the turntables in the back. I don't use them that frequently, but I do like having them around. Like somebody's gonna give it to you. You gotta chase it, gotta believe it. You gotta go get it for yourself. Cause I can see your eyes. Your head is full. Okay, before I show you the final result, I am going to just use a paint pen to touch up a little bit of the worst of the chipping paint, especially because it's right next to the sink. These cabinets just get dripped on a lot and as much as we try to try to keep it like wiped off, it's inevitable. And I mentioned before, the paint drop on these cabinets was not ideal to begin with, so um chipping has always been an issue even on ones that don't that get any water on them so it's pretty bad down at the bottom of the cabinet i'm just gonna take these paint pens i got these at home depot the last brand that i had was completely different i don't even remember what it was but the it says it's oil based it's just white paint um and i have a skinny one i also have this fat one for the worst parts down at the bottom. So I'm gonna touch up the paint chips a little bit. I know that it is not going to look like new. 
but that is not, like my expectation is already low. I just want it to be a little bit less noticeable and maybe protect the wood a little bit. That is my only goal really with the paint pens. So we're gonna do some touch-ups really, really quick and then I will show you the final result of the cabinet. can't see it very well, but I have like all of the refill for the dish soap and everything back there and some scrubbers. Here are my more frequently used things like the wood polish, my Tinko solution, more disposal pods, which I need to restock on, the power wash. And then for here, I just have some sponges, things that I use more frequently, like the drain stop, things like that, that I can just easily grab out of this top one. And then the bottom one is just refills, magic erasers, things that I use less frequently. My Dawn dish soap is back there. I have my um, expandable dish tray for drying the dishes. It just slides in right here. I don't put it away until it's all the way dry. So if it's in perfectly right there, back here I have all of my hand soaps. What I did was I pulled my like legit fall and Christmas ones out and I'm gonna store those in a different area. Um, and then these are just the go-tos for the season. And then I am able to just stick all these things up here. This is my thieves cleaner I use on the countertops can easily get a dishwasher pot out of here now. And then my bottle drying rack there. I wish I could have just fit this all under here, but it just wouldn't work and I didn't want to crowd the disposal or the outlet and that's why I did the riser. But it's a lot more functional. I mean, I won't know for sure if it's perfect for a little while, but like for now, it's just all of the main things that I need. I pared down stuff that I didn't need directly in there. And I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Well, my friends, that is everything that I have for you. I hope this gave you some ideas on things that you can do in your cabinet. This has been so much better. It's so much more functional. I'm so happy with the results, but I hope you are doing well. If you're not, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I have a lot coming up and check the description box on some information about the giveaway that I am doing currently. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye.